Welcome to my tutorial on setting up MinGW in TextPad 7 to be able to run and compile C++ code. To get started, we're going to open up our favorite browser, which is going to be Firefox for me. We're going to go to mingw.org. On the left hand side, you'll see downloads. Click on that. Right here, you'll want to get this one, the latest version. So we'll select that. And it will download in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so we'll save the file shouldn't take very long to download and now we'll go to Firefox downloads and we'll double click on this uh, allow access to it and now we'll go through the setup process for MinGW so next next uh, we're gonna download the latest Uh, accept the license agreement. You might want to read through it. Where you want to install it. Uh, this is where I'm going to install it, so if you want to follow the tutorial closely, then you can install it the same place as me. We'll go next. That's fine. We'll go next. And there's a whole bunch you can pick from. We're going to pick C and C++. Next. And install. Minimize Firefox. And this may take a while to update everything and install everything. And now that it's finished, uh, you can view the log if you want to. I'll select finish. It's just showing everything that was updated, everything that was installed. So there shouldn't be any errors, and it doesn't look like there was any. So we can close that, close down that. And now we're going to go to the command prompt. Uh, I'm going to try and make it not too complicated. I'll actually post all the instructions below the video so you could just copy and paste them if you want to. So we'll go here, run, type in CMD, click OK, and you'll get a command prompt. So what we're going to do is go all the way backwards to the C directory, and then we're going to go forward into the mingw directory. So we're going to go cd uh, slash min gw. And we'll, so here's everything in that directory. So now we're going to go into the bin directory. So we'll go cd slash bin. Sorry, just cd bin. directory so here's everything that was installed now to make sure we have the right compiler we're gonna type in G plus plus minus minus version and you should get a prompt like this if you get a prompt that says command not found then that's bad and you'll have to go through and try and reinstall mingw because uh, you might have had an error in downloading uh, so the next thing we're going to do is finish installing. So we're going to type in mingw minus get install mingw 
dash make and hit enter and all these should download if you're getting errors for these read what the error is saying because it's quite possible that the error is that it is already installed on your system so that won't be a big problem and there we go so as you can see with my last package there was an error already installed on the system so that's all fine so now that that's all done we can close down the command prompt and the next thing we'll have to do is set up our environment variables so we'll go to start we'll go to control panel sorry it opened up on my other monitor we'll go down to system if you don't have the same view as me you can change it right here so just change it to large icons go to system advanced system settings go down to environment variables and we're gonna have to set it up in two places so the first one is up here for uh, you so we'll go edit <clears throat> and I think mine's already there yeah so you'll if you installed it in the same place I did you'll just have to type in exactly what you see here and then remember the semicolons and remember not to delete anything else in these path variables so we have that there so that's all fine select OK and now in the bottom for your system we'll go to here edit and I believe mine's at the start yes so just at the start you can type this in followed by a semicolon making sure you don't delete anything else and we'll select OK select OK OK and exit uh, now the next thing you're gonna have to do is a hard reboot hard reset means actually powering it down not just hitting restart so I'll have to stop the video here and I'll start it back up once I hard reset my computer okay welcome back so now that we've rebooted our system we're gonna make sure that our envir environment variables set up correctly so we're going to open the command prompt again we're going to go to start run cmd ok we're going to type in g++ and it should give us an error like that saying that there's no input file so that's good try gcc get the same error so this is actually the C compiler and this is actually the C++ compiler. So we'll close that down. And the next step will be to download and set it up in TextPad. So again, open up your favorite browser. We're going to go to textpad.com. go to download grab the textpad 7 download we're going to save it and it should download very fast so we'll go here downloads we'll double click it and it should open up in some kind of zip utility that you have on your system So we'll minimize the browser. We'll just drag the setup file onto our desktop. And then we can close that, close that. And now we'll run the textpad setup. So double click on this. We'll go next. Accept the license agreement. You should probably read through it whatever 
worth installing. If you want to change that, you can. And install. Uh, you may be prompted to allow access. Select yes. And we'll launch the program and finish. Okay, so now we're going to configure it to compile and run C++ code. So we'll go to configure preferences tools and you'll see I already have some set up so I'll show you how you'd have to do it if you didn't already have them set up so you'll click on tools you're not gonna have any of these here so you're gonna go down to add program you're gonna go to your C drive find mini GW or min GW sorry go to the bin directory and you're gonna scroll down till you find G plus plus dot exe and you'll select open so I have G plus plus here now so first thing we'll do is rename it so we're gonna change this to compile C++, see if it'll let me have two of the same. No. So we'll name this compile C++ 2. Okay, so now that we have that, we will click apply, and then it'll pop down right here. So you shouldn't have to edit this this should have the right thing in there so we have to add a couple things in here type in minus o dollar sign base name space so it should look like that leave this the same leave that the same and we're gonna change this regular expression I have it here but uh, I'll leave it underneath the video so you can just copy and paste it in so you don't have to try and type this so it'll look like that uh, we're gonna switch this to line 4 file 1 and we'll click apply now we have to set it up to run C++ code so we'll go back to tools we're gonna go add DOS command. We're going to type in cmd.exe. Select OK. So now you have cmd.exe. Rename it to run C. I already have it, so I'll type it in as run C2 since I already have one. So now click apply go down to run C++ 2 we'll set up our parameter as dollar sign oop, dollar sign base name this will be file dir we're gonna uncheck this that's important to uncheck that and now we have them both set up so we'll click apply and OK and now we'll just make sure it's working so we'll enter in a basic C++ program so the first thing we'll do is go file save as uh, desktop we'll save it as testing dot cpp save and then type in the program so include IO stream using namespace standard create a main function and we'll just do a simple print of 
hello world just to show you that it's working so now to compile and run our C++ programs we'll go to tools external tools I'll use the one I configured in this so compile C++ and it didn't like that I didn't have that so we'll run that again compile C++ there we go and we'll run our C++ prints out hello world so that means everything we set up is working correctly and you should be able to write and run your own C++ programs now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And good luck in your programming.